So promotions are a topic that I feel like aren't talked about in a lot of other tech videos. At least when I was in college and when I eventually got my first new grad job, I didn't really understand the whole process of getting a promotion, what a promotion really entails, how do you start going about the process, how long does the first promotion usually take, how long do other promotions take, stuff like that. And to be fair, this process can change a lot based on the company and just general industry that you're in, so take everything I say with a grain of salt as most of this, if not all of it, is really just based on my experience. Now there are generally two types of promotions, a compensation increase and then a title change. And after a certain number number of these compensation increases, you'll also get the associated title change. For example, let's say you joined Microsoft, and Microsoft, like a lot of other tech companies, uses a level system to determine compensation and to determine uh, what your actual title is. And if you wanna see more like specifics on the actual range and the different titles, you can go to websites like levels.fyi. Generally, the entry level for a software engineer at Microsoft is a level 59 with the job title Software Engineer 1. Then for your first promotion, you'll move to level 60, which is a compensation increase, but your title will still be Software Engineer 1. Then if you get a second promotion, you'll move to level 61, and with this level, you actually do get a title change. So you'll also get that compensation package increase, but instead of being a Software Engineer 1, you'll now be a Software Engineer 2. Now again, these naming schemes and levels will change based on what company you're at. So I know at I think Google, they use like L3 or L4, or L5, as opposed to like level 60 or 61, stuff like that. But generally, the structure across tech companies is around the same, or generally the same, at least from my knowledge. And from what I know and what I heard, as you move up the level hierarchy or whatever structure the company is using, the time to get to the next level is usually increasing. So going back to the Microsoft example, let's say you're getting promoted from level 59 to level 60, and that might take around eight months to a year and a half. And then from 60 to 61 might take around one to two years. But then going to 62 and 63 might take two years or three years and then going from 64 to 65 or 63 to 64 that might take three or four years so the time between promotions increases as you move higher and higher now that we understand the general structure of promotions in a lot of tech companies how do you actually go about getting them or knowing what to do to get them so some companies will have a rubric type system that'll list like responsibilities or broad impact impact statements about what each level or what each role is supposed to do so you have to meet those sort of requirements before you're considered for that promotion. I know at Microsoft they sort of expect you to already be operating at that next level before you'll actually be able to be promoted to that next level. That way, it's not like a shock if you have increased responsibility. So before you're at level 60, you kind of have to show that you're doing what a level 60 would be expected to do. And then when it's time for promotion cycles, then your manager will be able to vouch for you and say, hey, this person is easily performing at level 60 and we should promote them and then it'll get approved or, you know, go through deliberations or whatever. I don't know. I'm not in charge of promotions. And this is where I think having an open dialogue with your manager is really, really important. So make sure you're meeting with your manager at least once a week for just a one-on-one -on -one meeting to discuss your career goals, your career milestones, where you want to be in a certain amount of time and just generally how you get on that promotion track. And honestly, you could just say, hey, I wanna be promoted within this next promotion cycle, within this next year or this next two years, whatever the time frame may be, and you just ask your manager, like, hey, what do I need to do for that to be accomplished? What do I need to show? What responsibilities do I need to do? And generally, they can give you a pretty good idea or outline of what you should actually be able to do or be doing to qualify or to make a good argument for that promotion. Because generally, it'll be your manager who fights and vouches for you to the higher level executives about why you should actually be promoted. There might be a bunch of managers trying to promote a bunch of people on their team, but let's say the higher level execs who's ever deciding promotions for the department, for the company, their budget only allows a certain amount of promotions or they only approve 40% of promotions, whatever it may be, 
your manager is going to be the one and you, you know other higher level execs that you work with other managers they're going to vouch for you and that way you have a better chance of your promotion request being approved so you want your manager and other higher level people on your team to be like yes you know this person is performing great they took on a lot of responsibility they had a massive impact on the project on the team on the product and they definitely deserve this promotion but it's important to remember that with increasing compensation and increasing job titles or higher level job titles comes an increased level of expectation and general responsibilities. So I've met people that didn't want to be promoted beyond a certain level just because they're happy with where they currently are and don't want to necessarily have increased responsibilities. Now this doesn't mean necessarily that they'll have a stagnant salary because from what I know a lot of tech companies will do like a performance compensation increase where based on your performance throughout the last fiscal year you can get a percentage increase to your base salary or to your compensation package as a whole without it being part of the regular promotion process. So speaking from my personal experience at Microsoft, I've been working here for a little bit over a year and I was promoted one level up from joining. And so far, I've just been really enjoying it. So I hope this video could demystify the process around promotions in tech. Again, this is just from my experience, so it could vary wildly based on the company and general industry that you're in. Hopefully there's some, you know, transferable knowledge here. If you're looking for minimalist programmer merch, consider checking out some of the clothes I designed at nullref.co. My name is Michael. We make computer science tech, college advice, career advice, software engineering skits, college skits, stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. We do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self with Thank You Daily. Check out one of my future videos. My future self would also so thank you dearly. That's all from me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.